What's up guys, welcome back to Fast Electronic and Loud, where we bring it to you Fast Electronic, and of course Loud, my name is Ryan, hopefully you've seen some of our other speed test videos, we'll put them all in a playlist, and put that link in the description below for you so you can see it. Previously we did uh, an iPad 4 versus the new iPad Air speed test, and like I said, you can see that, just look at the playlist, quite a few of those uh, benchmark tests. So, what we actually wanted to do, this is actually on the right side, is actually the new iPad. Apple iPad mini with retina display was just released uh, yesterday kind of on the hush hush from Apple nobody really knew and then it was there at the website and at the store so yeah I'm not sure, really sure what happened there so what we wanted to do in this particular benchmark is we have Geekbench 3 available on both of these uh, this like I said is the iPad fourth generation this is iPad mini with retina display so this has the new A7 processor against the iPad 4th generation. So let's go ahead and open up Geekbench 3 on both of these devices here. We'll draw a menu here so that we're able to perform our run, run processor benchmark. So let's go ahead and do just that. And this is Geekbench 3. It's a little application available from the App Store. You can download it there. Uh, what we're running it in on, like I said, is iPad 4th generation against the iPad mini with retina display so that is the new one I uh, feature in that a7 processor so about 18 seconds in here we're gonna see uh, looks like uh, nearing halfway on the iPad 4 and we're well over halfway with the uh, iPad mini with retina so we'll just give that a moment to finish up here and hopefully we will have a score for you looks like the iPad 4 is nearing halfway completion at 35 seconds and you can see for yourself the iPad mini with retina display is done iPad 4 still has uh, is probably about 60% complete, so about 40 to 35% left. And you can see the score there already. We'll go ahead and talk about that. 1397 single core score, 2529 for the multi core score. And that's, like I said, using the Geekbench 3 app. It's available from the App Store. And you can check that out, you know, download it if you'd be interested. So, and here was the iPad 4 came in finally. And you can see the single core score for the iPad 4 is 782. And the multi-core score is 1433. So if you want to compare the two, we have a 782 versus a 1397, 1433 versus 2529. So again, this was the iPad 4. This is the new iPad mini with retina display just released yesterday. So you guys can be the judge for yourself here. Obviously, the new A7 and the iPad mini with retina, in addition to it looking gorgeous, in addition to it being lightweight, is now a full-blown powerhouse, which is absolutely awesome. So if you like videos like the one you just saw right now, go ahead and do the right thing and give us a thumbs up. It really does help. We appreciate it. Maybe give us a like, uh, give us a comment, add this to your favorites. Uh, subscribe to Fast Electronic and Loud. And this was brought to you by Fast Electronic and Loud, where we bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course loud. My name is Ryan, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.